Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Statement back. So, what is my team? 2K14. First game, you know, we want to go out of here, start off on the right foot. But then we look across the way and we see nothing but gold. Pretty much nothing but gold. A little bit of silver, a little bit of bronze, but there's a lot of gold on that side. A lot of bronze on my side, except for Mr. Tony Parker. So, uh, this looks like it's going to be a tough one. But, you know. I want to see, um, you know, I, I've, I've beaten teams that are better than mine before, so I'm not really, I'm not really worried from, you know, from that perspective, just a gameplay perspective, because I, I mean, it's just, uh, I need a big game out of Tony Parker if I'm going to be able to win this game, so I'm looking for about 20 and 12, probably more points if I can't get anybody else going, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens, but for the most part, um, what I wanted to talk about, you know, mostly just to start off the video was um, how I feel about the game so far. Like, I, I will say early on, let me get that real quick, that's Mr. Parker. Early on, I think the, the hardest thing for me to get used to was the controls, man. Once I got used to the controls, it took me about a day, you know, when I would stop holding left trigger and using the uh, the right stick to try to do a dunk. I think I might, uh, ooh. Ooh. I think I do I might I don't know I think I cut it all out of the video but I, I still do it from time to time but I'm a little better at it now because uh, I mean I, I had a lot of wide open dunks but I sit there and just throw the pass back you know when I got a wide open lane but once I get used to the controls the controls actually work pretty well pretty fluid I don't there's still some things that I don't like but just because I don't like them doesn't mean that they don't work pretty well I don't, I mean, it annoys me that they changed the, the, the pick and roll stuff. How, like, you know, pick and, pick and pop is, like, the last one now, and pick and roll is, like, the middle one. It, 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 why? Why can't you just leave some stuff the same, man? Ugh. Why can't you just leave some stuff the same, man? Just leave it alone. I don't get it, man. I don't understand. And this, um, I ain't gonna lie. The, the thing that, that kind of got on my nerves the most, when I first started playing was the off-ball defense like the off-ball defense for some reason is really really crazy really weird in this game in my opinion it's a little worse than last year because it's just it's like you know like for some reason people stay too far off of their guy like i mean they, they, look like look where look where Iguodala is or is that rudy gay i think it's rudy gay why is he all the way in the paint there was no reason for him to be there like the pick and roll was somewhat defended there was really no reason this is why I need a new this is why I need a better team look how nobody on my team even runs toward the basketball I need that I need to make sure I kept that in the video but it's just why is he so far off and look at how far dude is off of uh, Francisco Garcia on the right side man I don't I don't I don't know but there is a way to change it like you go change to the, the, the coach defaults and you change it to uh what a move that's Mr. Parker change it to uh, pressure shooters then uh, they actually stay up closer because I mean like a, a whole lot during this game he'd get a whole lot of wide open threes just because uh, once the the ball crosses half court I have two or three guys collapse into the paint stand at the free throw line for no reason but uh, if you do pressure shooters that actually kind of takes that away I think by default they have it set so it's like you know it's harder to get into the paint so you actually have to kick the ball out try to reset your offense but if you're going against a team, you know, usually in my team, people have a whole lot of shooters on their squad. It doesn't really help you all that much. So you might want to do pressure shooters unless you run zone or something. But, you know, once I figured that out, it made defense, to me, defense got a whole lot better once I figured out why they were standing so far off, of, like right there, standing so far off the shooters on the perimeter. And um, that was, I mean, there's a few minor things that I don't like about the game but for the most part the game is actually pretty fun you know I'm still getting used to it still getting used to how some of the things work you know not making those bad passes not charging the lane trying to throw, throw down a dunk when there's two or three people standing there you know hoping that I get the foul because that's, that's usually the reason that I do it just because I'm trying to get fouled and um we can go ahead and uh, get this lucky bounce though cash money that's what it's about right now and, uh, you know, I'm still playing, still learning, but I'm enjoying the game so far, which is a good thing. I still feel like it's just an upgraded version of 2K13. 
but it's an upgrade nonetheless. I wouldn't spend 60 on it if you haven't bought it yet. I wouldn't spend 60. I would try to drop, um... How do you miss that dunk? I would, um, I mean, I'd wait till it drops to around 45. But I feel like 45 is a pretty good price for this game. But other than that, I like the game. Haven't played crew yet. But all in all, I'm, I'm having fun, enjoying myself. So, you know, I guess, good job, 2K, I guess. But anyway, it's a pretty close game. The game starts spazzing out here. I don't know what was going on. It starts moving all fast. I'm going to pause it to let the game remember what it's supposed to be doing. But this dude, Tony Parker, this dude is nice, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying playing with him. Uh, Chris Paul is better than him like as far as uh, defense goes. But I'm kind of glad that I have Tony Parker, man. I, I never played with Tony Parker before. Uh, well, I didn't play with him last year. I played with him in 2K12, but not last year. He's actually really good, really fun to play with. So, you know, I'm glad I got him. But it's a close game. I need my boy Tony Parker to go ahead and hit me some baskets. Give me some buckets to keep me close because it's, a, you know, it's game time. He's pretty much going to be getting all the shots unless he gets double teamed or if I get to find somebody else open. But it comes down to this. Last shot of regulation. He's got the ball. Gives it to Kobe. I got my best defender on him. And then I think he's going to shoot. Jump into him. And I give him two free throws. With, a one, with one second left, man. And that's That one hurts because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this shot off. You know how sometimes, you know, sometimes, like, it really doesn't, it not, doesn't depend on, you know, how fast you shoot. It's really how fast your dude will get to the shooting animation. So here we go. I'm going to get a chance to get this ball off, except he fouls me. It gives me two free throws, which I appreciate. So all I got to do is knock these down. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have enough time to get a shot off. But if I knock these down, we're going to go to OT for the most part. I'm pretty sure we're going to go to overtime. Knock them both in. He's going to get one more shot with Kobe. I don't think he got this off, but he misses anyway, so it's all good. And, I mean, the fact that his team is much better than mine and I am and I forced overtime, I feel like I got a pretty good chance to go ahead and come away with a win in this game. Mr. Yurepko, cash money. And really, I feel like all I got to do, if I can stay, uh, if I can stay ahead, because really, he's been kind of scoring at will. You know, since the since my off-ball defense is so bad right now, you know they're just sagging off the shooters. Like I said, I did I didn't do the the pressure shooters until like my next few games. So I just have a, like he's just getting a whole bunch of threes that I can't stop unless I switch and manually move my guy up to play off-ball defense and try to you know keep him from making that pass to the open guy. For some reason, Cephalosha reaches there and end up giving up a three the other way. I don't know why he did that. Don't know what he was doing. Get the ball. It's 20 seconds left. You know I'm going to Parker. Got to try to get a shot. I don't want him having the last shot again. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with this nice double move with Tony Parker, but I don't get the call. He gets the block. So now he's going to have the he's going to have the ball. About 15, 16 seconds left. He's got he's got coat. I'm not looking forward to this, but I do have Cephalosha on him. So I'm pretty sure he's, he's going to have to take a contested jumper to win this game. Get a reach, but he just drives right past me and gets the whistle. And at that point, I was like, I think the game might be over. He does end up hitting both of his free throws. Not that it matters. At least all he needed was one, really. And now I have to try to get Parker. Try to get a shot up in time, but I can't get it. Time runs out. What I was trying to do was I was trying to get him running toward the basket so when he catches the ball, he has less, you know, takes less time to turn around and face up so I can get my shot off. But it took a little too long. But it was a good game. That was a fun one. So I decided to go ahead and upload it. Yeah, Kobe went up there and dropped all his points. I got a pretty big game out of Tony Parker. So things are looking pretty good going forward. And I think um, the main difference in the game was like when the game was on the line, he had the ball and you know sometimes that's really all it comes down to 